Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer or Compline on Wednesday the 3rd of June. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised from life to death. Amen. The psalm for this evening is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5 and verse 19 to the end. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me. For you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I had said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The scripture reading is from the first letter of Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exhort you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. 
the Nunc Dimittis, or the Song of Simeon. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Our prayers for this evening. Lord, we give you thanks for the day that has gone before us. We pray that you will be with all those that we too have been with, those we have met, those we have talked with, Lord, we pray that you will take from us any wrong that we feel that we have done, anything that has separated us from our love for you. Take from us anything that we are carrying, that we may lay it at your feet. We pray for our nation at this time, for those who are gradually coming back to work and those who are coming back to school. So we pray for those who need strength and discernment in all that they are doing. We pray for those who are lonely this night and those who are anxious and those who are afraid to sleep. For those who are sick in body, mind or spirit and those who are very ill at this time. We pray too for the dying. We pray that you will enfold them in your love we pray for all who have gone before us this day and all those who grieve for their passing. Lord, we commend ourselves this night and all whom we know and love to your loving embrace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be upon you and all whom you love and pray for this night and always. We have come to the end of Compline and if you are able to, please join us for morning prayer tomorrow at nine o'clock.